Was a fucking like doing like good looking <laughs> like Taylor, right? <laughs> but like you know, doing all the weights and all that nonsense, right? <laughs> Tesco's, we should be going filming lads on these things. I what got mean? told off the internet that you were there every day practicing. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing you don't know me, because I'm too fucking lazy to ride a bill. <laughs> Sick, but what about any sharks anything like that? Yeah, it's fucking uh, reef sharks and that. It's not done scuba diving. Swimming with reef sharks. God, no way, like. And um, in Fiji, the fucking, fucking Fiji guys, they were um, yeah, and then the reef sharks. Oh! 
<laughs> Why did I stop? <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was like quite nervous because I don't really know what I'm doing. I like wrote some stuff though. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and it's like you got to keep the flow going and you got to mm. listen. You got to kind of you got to. It's mm. tricky, isn't it? Come on, then, let's go. Right, Anthony, so let's so go. From the start, you've got a plan here. Yeah? First national race I went to. I kind of travelled to. I travelled to Inleithen in my van by myself. Had a methylated stove. Got in the and shit, I haven't got any fuel, can I have uh, nothing to cook on? So I went into the went into the, the shop and I said, Oh, have you got any meths please? And the woman says, Oh no sonny, you're gonna have to get that for on, on on prescription. And I was like, what the fuck, you know? Can I have so hey, I went to the chemist, managed to get some meths on prescription, went to went to in the and national race, Petey was there, can I have Will Longdon, Warner, they're all there. And you know, I was by myself in the back of a van and Anyway, I was kind of sat there, kind of cooking on my stove in the night time. And there was this guy in a luminous jacket cycling through the pits with like a bottle of vodka stuck up his ass. I was thinking, what the Actually hell? Actually up his ass. Up his ass. I was thinking, what the hell is those guys doing? I mean, you know, this is me kind of new to it all. And they had like a white sofa, which is like, it was a bit off white rather than kind of white. And they were kind of hanging around and they, they were in a kind of ambulance van and stuff like that. They had ambulance sat on the back of it. So yeah. I thought, oh, I know where those guys are from. <laughs> and um, and yeah, kind of there was like Dylan Jenkins, Adrian Jones, and that's when I kind of first met the kind of like the Welsh riders. And from there, we kind of all kind of 
it was good to kind of meet up on the you know on the kind of race weekend and stuff like that and yeah. that is that's probably when I first met Jason yeah you meet people at races and you yeah. chat to them the same category you get yeah. to know them and then you realize oh you're from the same place as me right and then we travel to races together the thing is one well, then we were driving from here mm. to well England somewhere it was like really flat to go and ride doing pedal hounds and southern area mountain bike series races yeah. and it was you know you're driving like you know 400 miles on a weekend to ride a little hill kind of what we could remember back in the kind of mid 90s was that we only had we had like the pedal hound series which was you know we'd go to uh dare valley country park and ride on a field mm. or uh we'd go to surrey or we'd go to i don't know somewhere down in hampshire or something like that so so yeah, there wasn't really much out there. You know, there was a Welsh scene and there was like, which was primarily kind of cross country. You know, it's all kind of tied in with um, with the kind of the development of the downhill bike. So, you know, we didn't really see kind of downhill bikes till the kind of 93, 94. And then by the time you get a 95, you've got bikes like the GTLTS and then the ATX1. And then all of a sudden you go to, you go to Cardiff and you've got these mega looking bikes on, on, on the on the kind of walls in the shop mm. so, so yeah the kind of whole thing is all tied in isn't it really mm. and then got a bit fed up with it so i thought well, we could right. do better than that here so just had to go and it jones got his maps out and we mm. figured out a few places where to go right mountain ash was an early one <laughs> minus d was jones's little thing that was my first race off. Where he just went through the trees and wafted his magic wand and he made a sort of vague track. Yeah. You rode it. It was yeah. quite hard to follow, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been lucky enough to kind of go to, you know, World Cups in Switzerland and stuff like that. And I could mm. see, you know, there were, the future did hold kind of six, seven minute tracks, which were ridiculously technical and hard. And, mm. I, and yeah, of course it crossed my mind that we could hold, have events like that in Wales. It's just mm. the kind of, it's just that nobody, yeah, it was, it was a young sport. It's mm. still a young sport. Nat and Nat, everyone makes little social media groups for their little hill. Yeah. And everyone goes in there digging. Yeah. It wasn't like that back in wow. the day. Pretty mediocre tracks on pretty mediocre bikes yeah. back in the 90s, you know, four or five inch travel. We stayed in this kind of literally on the side of the track and there was like a Swedish guy there called Thor who ran the, ran the, ran the restaurant. I swear to God, I'm sure he's, trying to get a deal to buy a second hand chairlift mm. to buy bring it back to Wales. He said, why don't we bring a chairlift back to Wales? I was thinking, I think, it, I think they were talking some figure like 200 grand or something like that. Mm. Some rest of it. I don't know. <laughs> so that's how the conversation started, yeah. you know? So we, we kind of, you know, we were having the beers and I was thinking, well, well, yeah, why don't we have a, why don't we have a decent hill in Wales or in the UK to have, to ride our bikes on? Yeah, the whole family was massively involved in the Dragons. Um, like, we'd be behind the scenes, I'd do the filing for the entries because they used to be on paper and um, sorting out all the timing chips and number boards and then we'd do registration at the start um, on Saturday and then, yeah, me and my sister would be at the top of the hill doing the timing, which is pretty stressful when you're like 12, <laughs> trying to listen to instructions from your dad of what to do when something goes wrong. Um, but yeah, it's a dragon, so a massive part of riding when I was younger. Book it with British Cycling, yeah. pay the insurance, get some, you know, just do all the stuff. Pay someone to do the time, and that was a bit of a nightmare because the first couple of races were messed up. And then I tried to do it myself, and I messed it up. If, if maybe if it wasn't for the Dragons, mm. we wouldn't have Bike Park Wales there today. The Athertons mm. came to all of them. Yeah. Bryceland. Mm. Um, Mark, Mark Beaumont. Beaumont. Yeah. You know, they all came to the Dragon races. You know, why aren't the top five racers racing national races? Mm. I mean, you look who who's missing from the last na the last national race. Of 2017, Danny Hart wasn't there, Atherton wasn't there, Brendan wasn't there, Laurie Greenland wasn't there. There's a load of races not there, and mm. why weren't they there? But I all mean, them people who just said all grew up in dragon races. Pretty much, yeah. So it was just, it was just, uh, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy doing it. So it was what? very, very stressful. You might have noticed me being stressed yeah, at times. Yeah, of course. But the, re the reason I was stressed is because I wanted it to be good. Yeah. And it's so very hard to make it good because there's so yeah. much that can go wrong. So Jason and you built this mad series of like no, 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 I built tracks. The tracks. You built Jason, the tracks. Jason, Jason did the admin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. You, I, mean, I did my bit. You know, I did ten years of it. Yeah, of course. Nobody yeah. died. Did more than you bit. <laughs> Nobody died, and that was it. I was really happy. In one of the greatest yes, dragon the races of all it. time. Jason reckons it didn't happen. I what can remember fuck? that, but, and I, could, I said to him, 
can you remember when somebody set a track on fire and you so, also reckon that I didn't happen either. Okay, well let's get the record straight here, right? <laughs> yeah. I raced those tra those mountain ash tra tracks back in the Dragons of 99, 2000. And I was coming down through the bottom section. I was thinking, it's a bit early to have mist in the valley. And I was thinking, I said, holy shit, that's not mist. It's fucking, I was like, oh my God, the hill is on fire. And some <laughs> kids had set the hill on light yeah. and I don't care. But anyway, I was says, there, I that, happened, that happened. Yeah, 100% did And happen. there also were kids there with air rifles shooting at the riders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, yeah. what was more dangerous? The fire and the air guns or the fucking uplift vans? I can't remember my dad <laughs> dragging the guy out of the uplift van because I, I wouldn't go on the uplift because one time I nearly fell out of it and he was like, they'd race each other, wouldn't they? Going up the, up yeah. the road. Yeah. Do you know what? I think I'd take more of a risk going down through the fire and the pellets mm. than getting in the yeah. uplift van sometimes. Bob, Bob gave because you never knew what, what mood the dri drivers would be in. It was like, it's okay to look back and laugh at it now, but like, you know, can the health and safety would have like, what the fuck yeah. is going on here? Can you remember? Man, I was just quick down at World Cup, you know. Down at World Cup is the safest place to ride your bike. Because there's marshals within sight of each other. Mm. And there's doctors within five minutes walking distance. You know, EWS races, you know, or any enduro race, even a mates race, very, very dangerous. I did you uh, put a sign in Meta BF on top of the... <laughs> on what the fuck are you talking about? That wasn't me, that was... <laughs> That was fucking. That was what's his name? That's, uh, Golden. Golden. That yeah, was, it was, it was you. <laughs> right, I'm off. That's totally not me. I don't know where you got that from. We, we spent most of the weekend in the car park. We put it up there, but you oh. want to fall for it. For what? You want to fall for it, and we put it up there. Wayne Golden drove up in the middle of the night, pissed up and yeah, exactly. climbed off the top of the van. So basically, yeah. So, so <laughs> there's us, and I got the blame for everything. I got a massive slap because of this. <laughs> okay, it's yeah, like, we're, we're in the car park, right? Yeah. And like cook, cooking eggs, drinking beer, because we had a van load of beer, right? Mm. And um, this girl came up, since uh, one of, what was the name who was to help Jason with the entries? She came up and slapped me. She's oh, like, why you that? Why you put that sign up on the on the chair for? I said, what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> So basically, she, someone, Ryan's dad, yeah, Wayne, Gold, Wayne Golding, put this sign on the chair saying, Jason is a wanker. No, Jason's a twat. Jason is a twat. <laughs> but yeah, I think they they created some good banter. They can have attracted some great riders. Um, it was a, it was a series everyone wanted to be part of. Um, they, you know, it brought some great characters in, like Elsie, who was like the kind of one of the riders' mums. She was there, kind of. Smoking the fags, kind of videoing every single race. Yeah. Uh, like that's the whole thing about Dragon as well. It was like just as it was, wasn't it? The Athertons turned up in a car with like five bikes on the roof. Mm. Yeah, like sandwiches in a bag, probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, and, burger uh, van, clubs in the night. You know, we like when we did Gethin, when we did, which is now Bike Park Wales. We did, we did the race. <coughs> the race on Saturday, we all piled, piled down to Ponte Dower in the night time to go clubbing. Mm. It was like, you know, came out, chicken kebab, uh, slept on the mate's floor, back the next day, and race. race again. Yeah. Why not? That's it. It's not Who wore the wellies best, you or Jason? Jason didn't wear wellies. I can remember Jason riding Jason wellies. Jason didn't wear wellies. I got a video <laughs> of Jason riding wellies. Well, wellies. he was just copying me, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody should wear, wear, wear wellies, shouldn't they? Charlie Atten told me a story. He seen you over the winter. Time. Yeah. And he said you turned up on an e-bike with yeah. rallies on, saying you've just been on the best ride you've ever been on in your life. Hey, totally. Let me go show you a picture of it. <laughs> two, two seconds. Why wouldn't you ride in rallies in the winter? <laughs> Doesn't water go down enough? Thing is, it was my birthday, and someone and Rob Cooksley bought me the wellies for my birthday, and um, yeah, it's great. Is a boy here, you want to put the note on his car, doing burnouts in the field? Well, look, look no, 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 Bygones has been guy Bygones yeah, and he's done it oh, and he's, he's fine, right? I he, wanted to play up, man. Hey, no, listen, no, 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 listen now, he took it on his chin like a Did man, he? so park it, okay, or you'll be the one here having a telly off. <laughs>
Come on, son. I'm down, boy. Don't like what? Syndrome. Syndrome. I'll be fucking up with the fairies. <laughs> All the nonsense. All the nonsense. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> We're doing duro goggles, bro. We would have prevented that. Had hot food, no patty. Tell him get his from a catty. Now I'm on stage to rules, that's in the catty. He just said it end up in prison. I can do it's true, I was aggy. Man put his room with his crew in a bag. Cool bro went to the booth for a yeah. Now I'm running down youths in the alley. Things get locked off, we can't be alley. Two, three days got a cool in money. Gonna get a job on the like Danny. So I'm in the ends with the flats look trashy. Boom, boom. We're done though. Big shot. Bro. The box way. Got food that I run up in your spot, boy. In the ends on my top man, what man? The top man get boxed man. Got fresh kicks still in the box man. Got food and I run a bigger spot man. Yeah, what I was in the top man. I was in the top with the top man. I had that food on my top man. Nah. I don't wanna see them still doors. But do you know what it's like to feel poor? My family's what I kill for. But I'm in the end, so I see four. Show down shows, that's normal. Move to your goal, that's normal. Showdown shows us normal. Still in the ends, that's normal. Move to the goal, that's normal. Showdown shows us normal. Still in the ends, that's normal. Dun, 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 A lot has changed, haven't it? Yeah, like <laughs> not just bikes. Yeah, I never thought any of this would happen. No, I never rode to make this happen. You no, know? no, only just rode for fun. Just rode your bike, didn't it? But yeah, like, yeah, it just just happens that like you was all right to do, and uh, just carried on riding. You were done. A dragon mountain ash was my first one. Rachel Afton spoke me. Did she? Yeah, and you were dad when it was like taking the piss out of me for like <laughs> weeks after that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got it pretty good boys. Yeah. Mountain, surf, city, it's got everything all in you know one small place. Yeah. Dragons, you got loads of dragons, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh mines. <laughs> 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 Run your forks off, you okay? <laughs> 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 no, you always run your forks off, is that? No. Smooth, the right dungeon. Smooth. Fucking right dungeon, mate. Yeah, well, hey. Test, test, test. And listen well. Every every man has these techniques. Every technique. <laughs> they don't look much, he's too, but when you start hitting them, 
Kompliment an. <lacht> This carnage right there, right there. Yeah! Oh, that was like a joke the same thing! Any more that and it's <laughs> Believe me 
make this my sound To someone who does not even know How pathetic this must sound To hope I finally get it out How pathetic this must sound To someone who does not even know That he's part of this town Try to make sense of what happens next to wait for Fucking car! Snaggy going, go for the more. Hang on, boys, it's gonna be the next stop. Riders ready, random stop. Watch the gate. <laughs> right, competition's on. Oh, it's the only reason I come. Sponsored chips. Only reason I come. Chips. No, with the McDonald's cup though. Okay, with the cotton cup. Yeah, here's one. Diamond. Start the bike up. We could do an EWS easily in South Wales. Yeah. I'd win that. Man of it, so I'd win it. Such king size talk from this lad, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> oh. Couldn't win your own meat's race. I know, I couldn't like crash on the fire road. Can't do it. I have a big morning status about bike park and then prices up. That's about you don't ride a fucking bike anyway. <laughs> 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 
Kyle. For fuck's sake. Line choice is Jeeva. Watch. See that edge. There we go. Um, uh, yeah. Need some of the prop out up on the one side. Oh. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell. Oh. You right? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, end of me. Sicko. I just checked that I'm alright as well. Because I was expecting some. All in the name of the sport. I'm a jacket at the sport in there. Maybe two have come sitting on. Shout out to you, but you're just.